We have to talk about the shitty situations in a bus. Like, this is serious talk. Shitty situations. That's right. I'm talking about composting toilets. I am going to attempt to make one today. So I'm sitting at Lowe's. It's not yet time to open for them. They don't know my schedule for the bus, but I need to get things done. So I'm waiting here, waiting for them to open, because I am going to try to make a composting toilet myself. Because I don't want to spend $1,000 to take a shit. There's just no way I'm going to do that. Because that's a lot of money to poop. My poops aren't worth $1,000. So I'm going to make make one. Well, I say I'm going to make one. I'm going to attempt to make one. Because this could come out amazing. Or this could come out really bad. I don't know yet. Um, what I did is I went to the Sea Head... Um, website and I got the measurements this girl I'm trying to do it myself because like I said I don't believe in spending a thousand dollars to pee and poop on my bus like no there are things I would rather spend a thousand dollars on like putting fuel in my bus and taking a trip to the Grand Canyon for a thousand dollars so yes today I am at Lowe's and I am going to make one let's see how this goes guys all right, so I'm back with my supplies. Um, I bought two pieces of um, 24 by 48 inch uh, pine boards that are that are all together. I bought a cement stir, a big one. I bought a funnel that has a little thing on it. I won't do that ever again once it's used. Uh, but yeah, this will go into a container underneath. I bought hinges for the back of it. And of course, your handy dandy bucket. So this will be the interesting part to see if I can actually do it or not. So we will see. Let's all keep going today. Okay, so what I've done so far, I forgot to mention, you also need a toilet seat. <laughs> That's a pretty big part of the composting though. Um, so what I did is I did some measurements. The top is a little larger than the bottom from what I can tell on the toilet at uh, the sea head pattern. So I've already cut everything into pieces, the front and the sides and the back. So we will see how it comes out, I guess. Um, yeah, let's all keep going, guys. Okay, by far... One of the shittiest things I've had to do on the bus. This is taking me seriously all freaking day. I can understand why people pay a thousand dollars now. I get it. I totally get it. But I already started it, so I gotta finish it. But I get it. Thousand dollars for a headache. I get it. So this toilet, just saying, has been a pain to me. I understand why people pay a thousand dollars now but you know me stubborn stubborn as hell and I will do it so I present to you my gorgeous toilet it's my composting toilet yes so if you look at it it is not the most beautiful one in the world however it fits in my bathroom and the part about a composting toilet is there is, let's see here, can you see it? The number twos go in this back part, and number ones go in this part. And then you put peat moss in it, which I even bought peat moss to put it in there for you guys, but I forgot to put it in there. So what's gonna happen is the peat moss will go in this back part where number twos go. And when you're done with number twos, you turn that lever. This is what I'm talking about. I need a better device than this. It's the only thing I can find. Um, but eventually, there's gonna be kinks I need to work out on this. Um, but eventually, what this will do is if you can see, it's like a little mixer and it will mix it up. This will be the first time and only time my face is this close to this toilet. Uh, it mixes up the solids and the peat moss or the coconut fiber or anything like that. And then you have your urine diverter. 
which is connected by a little funnel that I have in here so that when that is full, you just take this out and you cover it with your fancy fancy lid. You cover it up and you take the urine out and dump it. So that's what the inside looks like. And you can see, see, there's that thing I was telling you about. So I have to bring it up some way that this will turn. Um, I have to get something that, I don't know, maybe you guys can help me. Maybe like a bolt or something on either side of this lid. So that way it stays up in place. So when I want to turn and crank it, it will crank. I'm not a very good engineer, obviously. So, and then that fits just right back in there. Nice and comfy cozy. Then this goes down on here, this bottom section here. And you make sure that the hose is in the jug. And then you close it. So, guys, this took me longer than making my whole couch yesterday. Um, I suggest if you want to do it, you will probably do it a lot better than I did it. Um, I don't have the patience at all for this. Um, I think it was because none of it is really, it's like angular and I don't know how to make those beautiful angled lines. Like some people know how to do, I just don't have the equipment. I don't know how to do it. So it is technically like just there and together. So that's what it looks like. I mean, I tried to cover like these edge pieces up to make them look good. Um, but like I was saying, everything is square. So, but all in all, I'm happy with it. It was like a hundred dollars to make. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's not beautiful. It's not gorgeous, but you know, I literally am going to be sitting here and like taking a shit or peeing. So to me, hundred dollars is a lot better than a thousand dollars in a day of frustration so that's what I did today okay guys so at the end of a hard day when you worked your ass off sometimes you just don't want that keystone sometimes you want something a little bit stronger so I'm gonna try this beer it is Oak Highlands Brewery let me see, where are they from? I don't know. Oh, I guess they're from Dallas, Texas. They're right down the road from me. So it's 10%. I'm gonna do a quick review on it because I love beer and we're gonna see how it goes. I like to judge it on color, smell, and all that fun stuff. But in order to have a good beer, you can't judge it in the can. So we're gonna pour a glass here. But it's a good old 10%, so we'll see how good this is. I find that a lot of times with 10% or anything higher than a 6, it's it's really thick, I guess. But this one looks really good. It's nice clear. has a nice head on it. So it doesn't smell too bad. Mm. That's a good brew. And I like the name of it. The old Freaky Deaky. Who doesn't like a little Freaky Deaky? So I would have to give this brewery beer right here two thumbs up because it's amazing and it tastes delicious. And it's 10%. Like, come on, less of them you need. And the name. I'm a huge one and a weird one that I love breweries that have weird names like if it's something normal like I don't even want to try it but if it's something like freaky deaky there's another one that I got here that I'm going to try later it's the Heffenweisner I think that's how it says I can't <laughs> it's this one Heffenweisner and there's no r at the end Heffenweisner <laughs> okay, so I'm going to try this one later. Uh, this one is a German style wheat. So from 
Fridiona Brewery, and they are also in Texas, which is weird because when I went to go get all these, it was the World's Market. So I was like, oh, I'll be able to get different kinds of breweries from different kind of breweries. And they're all from Texas. If you guys have like a really cool brewery or a brew I should try, definitely let me know because I love beer and I love trying new beers. And that's what it's all about. This is what this bus is going to do. This bus is going to travel to different breweries around the country and just test them all out and see how it goes. So you guys let me know what you think. Okay, so I have some friends over and we're trying to figure out how to pronounce this freaking beer. Hefenweizen, I think is what it's called. Is that what you said? Hefenweizen? It's a German beer. My friend Jen, how do you think it's pronounced? Yeah, that's close enough to me. Hefenweizen. All right, so we're gonna review this last beer that I have. Remember, we review it on no children in the video, sir. <laughs> Color, taste. Oh, this one's going to be, looks awfully thick to me. I don't know if I'm going to like this one, guys. It smells sweet. It's like a cross between a cider almost, even though it says it's a German style wheat. Mm. I don't know. It tastes like apple cider almost. I'm not a big fan of apple cider. Kind of tastes like vinegar. I'm not gonna lie. This one I would give like a half a thumb up. Guys, I didn't like that last one, so we're gonna try the salted lady. This is a brewery from Martin House Brewing Company in Fort Worth, Texas. I just like the name, Salty Lady. Kind of reminds me of me. I don't have my glass because I gave my friend over here that beer because I didn't like it. <laughs> Say hello.